Amanda K and I'm back today with another vlog this week. I'm really bad at starting the vlogs on Monday. I did get footage yesterday. I just didn't get any footage of me talking just because I didn't really do anything. Today I plan on going to the zoo and then I also plan on going to the pool. And after I leave the pool, I might actually no, I will go to either a coffee shop or to Starbucks to do some work. All I know is I thought it best to leave a note. Might be interested in a drink or a meal sometime. Um, no thank you, sir, but thank you. I thought that was kind of funny. It was nice though. It was a nice gesture. I'm glad that he did not talk to me. I hate when guys talk to me. It's just like, sir, please don't talk to me. I, no, no thank you. I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to stop rambling and I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Or Starbucks. Oh my God, you guys, I've been wanting these for like the last three weeks and they've been sold out at this Target and they finally got them. If you haven't tried these yet, these are so good with hummus, like the bomb. It's really the bougie cake. It may make the cut, it may not. Here is the dust bag that it came in. I am so eager to see what this looks like. It's not even that bad looking. It's really not. <laughs> I've been wanting this bucket bag for so long. I ordered it from DH Gate. The straps though are, they need some breaking into. second let's try this out y'all it's actually pretty cute okay no it's too long i think i would like it better short oh i'm really happy with it i don't know how much i paid for this i want to say i paid 50 dollars for it it was not a lot at all girl it's giving what it's supposed to get for 50 dollars i purchased this bag when they had a major sale on the dhk website I don't know how much it is now, so, but if you're interested, I will link the seller to this bag down below. When it comes down to replica bags, I personally don't really care if you know if it's fake or not because I don't value bags like that. I don't value materialistic things is what I'm trying to say. So if I like it, I'm gonna get it and I'm not gonna spend 2,000, 3,000, 1,000 on a bag. That's just, that's ridiculous. And that's living outside of my means. Moral of the story is, I don't care if you know if it's fake or not. Girl, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I'm not gonna sit here in front and be like, it's real. No, I'm not about to do that. I'm not even about to do that because 
that's just a waste of time but the bag doesn't wear me i wear the bag period i'm gonna tell you girl if i got it fake or not i'm gonna tell you the deets i'm gonna tell you if it's a good replica i'm gonna tell you if it's not so good of a replica that's just what it's gonna be and i'm not sitting here telling you to go out <laughs> I'm not sitting here and telling you to go out and buy replicas, you know what I mean? Like, if you have it, girl, do you spend it on the real one? Well, I am all for it. I'm also going to be here telling y'all the real. Like, I know some people like designer bags. Like, me personally, I love the look of a designer purse. Like, certain designer purse, not certain, a lot. I really like the look of them, but the price, no, I'm not, no, that's stupid. But, girl, if I can get a replica, um yes ma'am because that purse goes cute with my outfit i hope you guys enjoyed that little unboxing what's the word i'm looking for not unboxing because it didn't come in a box unpackaging anyways bye y'all good night guys saw i'm about to eat this spaghetti that i made i was gonna record while i made it but then i decided no because the way i made it it was kind of ratchet it was like no special way no ingredients i was just kind of throwing things in there i don't even know what i put in there y'all i was just throwing ingredients and spices hopefully it tastes good we're gonna see right now hold on first of all let me pray dear Holy father thank you for this food that i'm about to receive lord and this food be nourishment to my, to my body father god may you bless the hands and repair this food lord May you bless those who don't have food, Lord. May tonight be a blessed and peaceful night. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay. Wait, hold on, because I really did it. Hold on. Y'all, I really did it. Oh, mm -mm -mm. Let me open up my tofu chico. Ooh. Ooh, that tofu chico, no it's spicy. I got inspired from this restaurant that I went to when I went to Chicago like a couple of months ago. The restaurant name, I forget what it's called, but I know it's something tavern. And oh my God, I had ordered this like marinara shrimp pasta. It was spicy. It has big old shrimp and oh my god it tastes so good but it's only located in Chicago. I just be thinking about that pasta all the time. I was like you know what I'm gonna try to make my own and hopefully it kind of like tastes the same and this I really nailed it. I really did. I'm gonna watch either Sailing Sunset or Working Moms. Yeah, either of those two. I don't know which one yet. Five things to be exact. I got this. It's so cute. It's like a desk organizer. I thought that this would be so cute on top of my desk. I also ended up purchasing the glasses that I also filmed in the clip. And they look so cute. Let me take this off. They look so cute on. I love, love, love how big they are. I love big sunglasses. I love them. Like, they look so rich. And they were only a dollar. I just, I can't get over this. Like, these are so cute. I cannot believe Dollar Tree had these. Like, come on, Dollar Tree. I picked up, I think this was in the clip also. Power to the people. This is so cute. It's gold. And it's really nice. It's not, like, cheap at all. It's so cute. I thought I could, like, put it somewhere over here or somewhere on my shelf over there. My hanging shelf up there. I just, I don't know. I like to change what I have up there from time to time. And then I also ended up 
purchasing the little pea side. I bought this specifically to organize my rings. Super cute. So I love this because I have a lot of rings. Like this stuff literally looks like it's from Target or Home Goods or something. And the last thing that I got, this little pencil organizer. And I love it because it's like flexible. It's like, it's not structured. That's what I mean. Love it, love it. So this is gonna be going with me in my backpack. And then when I'm out working, I can just have my pencils with me. <laughs> Easy access, I love it. $5, y'all, $5 and all of this stuff looks so good. I just love little cute knickknacks. That's my small little Dollar Tree haul. I hope y'all liked it. Go hit up your Dollar Trees, okay? Jesus. I am going to the pool and I will also go to a coffee shop. Depending on what time I'm done with the pool, let me put my seatbelt on. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Today is a nice day to go to the pool. It's not too hot, but it's hot enough. I pulled out my Dollar Tree glasses. Let's see how they look. Oh, I will see you guys once I get to the pool. I look cute and tan and unbothered. I'm so tired, you guys. I have literally gone down the water slide like 20 times. And I'm ready to go home. <laughs> Girl, I know I said that I was going to go to the coffee shop after I left the pool, but I am tired. I'm going to stay home. That's what I'm gonna do because I just, I don't have the energy. I'm not gonna force myself to go somewhere if I don't have the energy, so. I am gonna do my work here. I just have to get everything in the right mood. I'm so tired. But the show must go on. Mm -hmm. 